So we just did a yoga class and now we're going to reflexology um, I'm so excited because I want my toes rubbed and scrubbed <laughs> but um, yeah it's just been a busy week like we're going to London on Friday which obviously I'll film um, and it should be one minute I need to I need to find directions but I'm excited I think it's gonna be a really really good week I'm setting the intention <laughs> So we find ourselves at Ezra and Gail. I've been before and I got the not halloumi and I got the truffle. What's it called Gnocchi again? Or ravioli? Ravioli. It was mm. really good, but you literally got like five pieces. You can't starving. be having five pieces. I know. We're and Tam with it. had like this salad. It was huge, oh, but like did, the Caesar salad, it looked really good. Cool. But we did yoga this morning and probably burned about six hundred calories. Been running around Manchester. Yeah. Just got reflexology. That depot burns calories. Um, but yeah. So this is our, this is our this is bag. We're gonna have, yeah. It <laughs> honestly is incredible. Oh yeah. Sam's on her own, own track mind. I am, I really am. Um, oh, where's the nice forks? Um, we're going to London literally on Friday. Yoga tomorrow. 9 a.m. Is it 9 or 9.30? 9 9.30. Oh, 9 mm. Is it good? Really? I decided to get the flatbread. Oh my god. My mouth is actually watering. Okay. I, I think decided. flatbread's probably better. On one percent guys, as per usual. But um We're in London now. And we're going to a balance. I love fish and chips. I would love fish and chips tonight. I'm really hungry. I think we should go to Battersea. I feel like Friday night it'll be such like busy vibes. Ooh, yeah, I'm feeling that. Yeah. Do you have your actual plug? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Forgot that as well. <laughs> there's one thing. If there's one thing that I want to work night. on. It is like, like getting organised. How are you going to work to on self. That? Um, I'm gonna make a list of everything that I need and take it off one by one there's one thing that i want to work on it's better 3g so there isn't it i think you better start with the phone <laughs> i know i probably should <laughs> So we're at Balance Festival. It's like so good. Look at it, literally. These are mindful, mindful drinking. drinking, so alcohol free. I've not even tried mine. Mine's really good. Uh, I reckon mine tastes like alcohol I fully. I thought he was actually pouring alcohol in. Yeah, because it was in those kind of like yeah. bottles. Or but um, honestly, we spoke to so many amazing people. Tomorrow, like. All the brand owners mm, are going to be there. Nice. Oh, I'm so excited. So I got, you got tropical sub and mm. I got... So um, we got... No, it's on me. Um, so we got so many testers today, like Beyond Meat was there. So we got a burger. So we got a burger. Um, this place is there. So we got like, there was so much amazing you'll know a lot of the brands as well so i hope you can hear us it's so loud really i bet this is on about one right, right taste test yeah guys the hustle never stops ever so we both like an ongoing problem of ours is phone charge it has been for years and i just don't really know like it, it's just never getting sorted so we're charging we never, our phone ever the bars. like we're doing, yeah. we're doing some on social media and we turned up today with an no out charge <laughs> and no uniform. So bad. And, um, so that, that is really funny. Well, we turned up to do social media with no phone charge. Like, and, um, that is literally like, Jenna's like, all over. And no um, COVID test. We got to do loads of networking. Oh, so yeah, maybe 
the white chocolate. Yeah. We've got to do loads of networking. We're at Paella now. Paella chunky chips. London is a vibe. London is a sub. A little vibe. I was saying, like, it's so nice to be here, like, working as well, like, with a purpose. And, like, we're not drinking, obviously, which is so hard. Like, I'm literally looking at everyone sharing a bottle of red, mulled wine on tap. And it's a challenge, but I'm glad. We're going to do it. We're going to do it, yeah. Check, check in tomorrow and we'll see, make what, it up see what's what. And a non-alcoholic cocktail. Yeah, yeah and a dessert. And of gent loads choice. of food. The white chocolate demo. Oh, my God. We got nut tree nuts. So we met the guy who was in so cute. And we asked him to do a video for our Live Well series. And we were like, how do you live well? And he was like, well, I go to the gym every single day. And then as soon as the video stopped, he was like, just joking, I only go five days a week. <laughs> so I lie. But this is his. So it's 12 grams of protein. Per, per one or per, per two? one, I think, or per two, I don't know. Uh, Your skin looks magnificent, It's Jennifer. so bright that, that I can't see. Well, it's because we did a skin care tutorial. 12 grams per 12 grams serving. But I don't know how many. We'll just say each because it makes it sound better. It'd be so good if you could open it. <laughs> right, and they're pretty like big as well. They are, they're chunky. We got monkeys. a natural deodorant as well, which is so weird because we've been saying that we wanted to try a natural deodorant. And then um, this one was just like, oh, have it. And she literally gave us a tat, yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. I'm doing a, I do the taste test of the Beyond Burger before, but yeah, I'm just like, eating it, it fell out, but. A lot of white chocolate. Better with the milk chocolate. Is it? But the peanut butter is just so good. It's like salty. Yeah. Ooh. So what do you to rate? be honest, guys, I'm gonna rate this better than better than the dark, and maybe as good as the milk. What? Because it tastes like a caramel. Yeah. Doesn't it? I really like the dark though. Oh, your favourite? Oh. We tried this um, beef jerky or like vegan beef jerky as well. He's in proper deep conversation with the owner and two people that work there. You can hear us, well done. I know. Like, like subtitles. Yeah. So loud, yeah. I like at a piece, like mid conversation and forgot where we were and literally nearly went, oh my god, that's gross. <laughs> And I remembered where I was, but I probably just didn't like it, I didn't want to eat it. So I was like picking it in there, just putting it in my pocket. I was shook. I was really shook when Jen pulled half a beef jerky. I was in my pocket like three hours later. Literally three hours later, but I think today he's taught me that like anything that you like want you eat a lemon slice <laughs> anything that you want there's already people doing it and like I just don't know like speaking to the owners of things and like yeah. it's and there's so, so many amazing. people like trying to build little things it's so nice to see yeah I'm like I'm here for it yeah me too. yeah absolutely my god why was it so zoomed in <laughs> Shiny. My forehead. I look cool. That's it. Like I bet too many crisps from last night. Um, we went for where did we go? Battersea Power Station. Bought some Shoreditch to Battersea, which was an hour and long. twenty minutes. We must have walked at least thirty miles to Stepchester. I'm gonna check actually. Shopping. But our phone was off for a bit. So. Yeah, our phone was out of battery the whole day. We're doing social media. You're a miracle, darling. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Little leg workout, yeah. I'm stepping into the shoes of the person I wish to be. 
Okay. How are you mentally and emotionally ready to live a successful and loving life? Okay. I am ready to make time in my life for things that are really important. Which is? Um, creativity, time with my loved ones, time by myself to like explore because creativity obviously is what I want to do for my career and it doesn't come, you can't pour from an empty cup. When I'm ready to change, the universe will meet me halfway. Okay. What are you ready to change? I'm ready to change. I'm ready to change um, undervaluing myself, maybe, and my financial situation. Like, there's times I probably I accept lower because I don't feel qualified enough, but the only reason is because I've just got imposter syndrome and no one really knows what they're doing. Um, I'm happy for others' success because I know success is available for me too. What, where do you take inspiration from others and how can you channel that into your own life? Um, I always save people's pictures to different albums on Instagram. So like if I see something, I'll literally have like different albums that I'll save and like it could just be like literally a lifestyle picture of the kind of life that I think that they're living in and how I'd want that to be in mine. But I always do it. So it's day one at um, Balance Festival. It's, <laughs> it's so hard to have it on the back. Yeah. It's day one at Balance Festival. Yes. And it's just doing amazing. So honestly. it's the first day that actual like public were coming. So last day was like yesterday was the trade show day, and then this is like the public. But it's just so fun to like speak to everyone like of a similar mindset. Like we just spoke to that girl, I got her to um, enter the giveaway, but, like showed her what it was, and she was like, "Are you two from Miracle Mindset?" And, like, <laughs> Oh my god, yes, I am. Sorry. That's me. <laughs> so good, but I literally love it. I look so blurry, this camera front camera's not very good. Um, but we've just had the best day again, literally. Um, I know, it's unbelievable. I think mine's, I think mine's quite good quality. Oh, is it? Mine's terrible. Um, oh, there we go. I think I just had something on my camera. Do you want to know a fun fact? Oxo weren't allowed to use advertising on their building, so we made them the with the windows like that. I know. But I don't get it. Let me just. Oh, the bright, wow. the bright, it's a real quality. I know the bright red. What the hell? Um. Yeah, guys. So we met. Um, it's called Tom McClelland, and he's going to be on the podcast. He's sick. He's, he's unreal. Like the third down in Virgin Active. Yeah. We got approached by them. And um, oh, he. Oh. He's so into fitness mindset. Like he got. Um, Cans like a couple of years ago, just amazing. We spoke to Fit Steph Chef. Yeah. <laughs> Fit Steph. Chef Steph. And I was literally shit myself when I was about to say names, so I was like, oh, don't get it wrong. Um, Laura loves her. And she we gave her a pack of our cards morning. because I was just like, you know what? We are so like just fearless at the minute. We were going up to everyone, like filming them. And we were like, no, don't put us on the spot. And we were like, you're saying it. I know. Do you remember it's a new time. Oh yeah. Um we've just had the best day that like, I love networking. I've had the best day. Yeah. I was like, I'm just so happy, I'm just so happy. And um I'm just so lucky. You're so lucky. And yeah, we just got to like raise awareness for Live Well, raise awareness for us, and then we've just been for a gorgeous meal with them at um like his pizza place and got a truffle pizza. Mm, it was really nice, wasn't it? Yeah, it was so and the truffle, fries, the like amount of truffle. Bread, it's really good yeah. Too. Oh. And now yeah, we're going to truffle. it was actually like um it's like pesto. Oh. Like it looked like pesto. The pesto of the, like the truffle, truffle of the pesto world, yeah. But um we're going to the winter markets now, meeting law and just gonna have an unreal night, maybe hot chocolate or something. Finish the night off on a bang. Cheers, girls. Cheers. Laura's won that one. <laughs> milk chocolate. Well, what is it? Milk. Milk know, chocolate. She, I think I introduced Laura before, actually, didn't I? Laurie Kins. Oh, you're 
looks so suave, honey. That's why they closed early. Because they just made an absolute yeah. killing. £7, that is a joke. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, girls. Picture. Oh, no, I'm all right. Thank you, then. Follow me. Oh, you want a picture? No, Jennifer. That's what I said, no, too. With us, or? Picture. Oh, together? Because I thought that, um... I think I swear he's going to rub our phones, to be honest. Maybe. Ooh. It doesn't look cool there, does he? Oh, God. Go there. Go. Mm. Good morning. We've gone for a glowy look today. Laura's come in the festival. Yay! Plug the outfit. Um, where are we going today, Lulu? We're going for breakfast. Where, what's it called? Raw Lala. I feel like it's yeah. a We're getting an acai bowl. Um, getting an acai bowl. Then we're going to balance again. Look at this. <laughs> Idiot. But we're going to get a gorgeous acai. And then have oh, a bit of a cards. Got to go so on to everything. As a package. Mm -hmm. mm. Not really. Like a powder and then you mix it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'd be good actually. What would you make that's not been there? Mmm. Mm. Is anyone selling journals? The granola. No. Both. We said next year like we're literally gonna have our own store and it'll do so well. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what people don't have. Mm. We have out a lot there, you know. Loads of CBD. Mm. Mm. So much. Are you using tobacco? I'd say. I'd say to be fair. Um, if you could make a protein coffee. Yeah, that'd be good. Why so much protein? I don't know, I'm just thinking fitness really. I don't think I really think about protein at all. I do yeah. think. I do a little bit just because I eat so much carbs. I think a side flavour protein. That definitely I think. You can see that. Jill. How can say you make protein? Even just like accessible, so it's not it doesn't have to be frozen. It tastes of acai. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do actually. Yeah, that'd be good. Because sometimes protein, like when it's always chocolate or vanilla, generally it's one of that. It has such a synthetic taste as well. Yeah, it does. Doesn't it? To be honest, the cheese came in a little bit. I wouldn't know. I'm sorry, but there's about 50 samples <laughs> there that you could have picked up. Right, so Jen went, which one should we try? To the mum as well. So she picked up one and ate the whole thing. And I was like, oh, don't lie. 
At least you got the last spoonful of my tea on it. And you went, no, no, please, don't. <laughs> don't panic yourself. You eat it, go ahead. <laughs> Save yourself. <laughs> I don't know who you're lying to, me or you. Are you sure? She said something the other day, she was blatantly lying, like, and I, no, like, we both knew you were lying, but you were trying to convince us it was the truth, and I was like, that was Jen, it was a complete lie. Yesterday. <laughs> what was it? It's an excuse or something. Look at that. So we did a sound bath yesterday. It would have been so good, because I did feel Cleansed, but the sound of the festival, I could hear going, someone going five, four, Literally. three, two, one, squat. And that I was literally like, Oh, come on, guys, I'm trying to get healed here. She started singing, so that was good, but yeah, <laughs> you know what they were, we were laughing. I know, we only after a bit because I just remember, I didn't know if it was her laugh, I didn't know if it was her singing or not. Mm. I want to know what the fun fact you need to teach me today is what does Shanti mean? Good. Nicole says it in her class. The woman was saying it. I think it might mean love or something in yoga. Peace. In yoga is that sort of language. It is Ayurveda. Ayurvedic language. Ice. <laughs> Remember, we got one in ours and it was just one big ice cube. I was like, this is atrocious. Like, it was just literally huge. And I think I sent them an email, but they never replied. I'm going to do it. Minus 10 for the huge that? amount of unbroken granola there is here. There could be a bit more of water. I agree. I think I've now been around the block long enough to know what a good acai bowl is, I'm going to say. Then we should make an acai bar. Mm. Do you like juice baby as well on the top? Yeah, juice baby as well. But I have my own peanut butter. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't want to deliver it and then it was an extra pound for peanut butter and I was like, I'll save it on my own arm and have as much as I want. Mm-hmm. Fair. Logic. I need to go to Juice Baby. This place and Juice Baby is the only place I can get a side goes from because the, the granola doesn't have oats in. I can't have granola with oats. And they definitely have oats. My stomach kills every time. And I mean, I do test it every six months or so. But the past few years, it's been so. But I don't get water in oats, it'll make you. Because I thought they were quite neutral. I didn't know they were. They don't have gluten in. They don't. Oh, yeah. It's not a good one, I think everything else is fine. Wheat? Mmm, true. Wheat, is it bread? It's a mystery. If anyone knows why Laura is oat intolerant. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I've got people watch all day. What do you say? I know. My brother's in apartment. It looks out onto the top, onto the level of the people on the top row of the bus. And my mum was literally in his apartment, like, I could stay here all day. <laughs> that is hilarious. Yeah. Whereabouts is he? Whereabouts is he? Cambridge. Did he say he's been a master's? PhD. Yeah. So mad. How are you enjoying Balin? I am absolutely loving it. She's going to be on Burger now. Yeah. And she just bought a book. What, who's it by, Burnt Out? Have a little look. Jen's super excited. Yeah, I'm really 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 excited.
round two. We've just met Jess Hunt. I'm, surpri I'm so surprised she didn't come and speak to her. Well, I thought you were going to be, I didn't want to be Miracle Mindset's add one. Do you know what I mean? I didn't want to come. You're PA now. You gal. Gal. I hate the word gal and Feel I use it every day. Camera. Look at that. Oh, it's next <gasps> level though. Wow. It's like honestly balloons. We've honestly had so many tests today, haven't we? I've had like yeah. definitely a full evening meals worth of tests. Yeah. <laughs> what like what was your favourite um, thing that you tried, Lotta? Um, what was my favourite thing I tried? Come on, I really enjoyed um, that tagine we had. Tagine? The, the chickpea thing. Oh, that yeah. was quite nice. That very savoury vibes. Yeah, it was nice. Like obviously the Beyond Burger. Yeah. Uh, the, the Beyond Burger. The I was gonna say oh, the, the Beyond chocolate. Burger. The orange one. It's been the biggest weekend of chocolate probably of my life. It's probably a good thing to go home and be able to eat normal food. I know, I know. We've had so much protein the past few days. And biomel, biomel. Felt a chunk of a thing of um protein powder. Yeah, we bought three protein powders from Free Soul. All like organic, really good for women. Let's hope it is anyway. Is that um, what they were saying? Yeah, it was. They put all vitamins that we need: calcium for us, veggies. Um, and then wor not worry, but I do wonder. About <laughs> I worry so much. <laughs> um, I do wonder though. No, me too. Um, because of our that, nails, like, to be so honest. brittle. Yeah, they're really bad. Mildred, we could go sticks and sushi. Ooh. Oh, I wouldn't mind if you. I would love a bit of sushi. Um, there you go. Thank mm -hmm. you. Jack, orange, mm. and tangerine. Who knew they were different? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. No. What chocolate is this? Conscious, I think it's called. Conscious. Plugging so many gorgeous fitness brands on this. Well, I feel like I need to take a moment and think about what's just happened in the past few days. Yeah, it's been such a well and like, we'll tell you a bit more on the train, but just met Jess Evans. Jess Evans? Just met Jess Hunt. Um, met so many amazing people, but it just makes me really realise when you meet people like that, like, they're just so normal and it is so possible. Mm -hmm. Like the only difference is like either more established or a little bit more money, but well, we're completely normal people. Yeah. She has it's such a normal life. She still lives in Plymouth. Yeah. She's like, yeah, it might make me to London because it'll just be easier. Like I'm not spending money on hotels and stuff. Like fair. That's the most normal thing you know? ever. <laughs> but um, that chocolate, I've got to say, is fully incredible. That's my favorite. Is it vegan? Yeah. That's my favorite. Dairy free. Chocolate. Palm tree. I was gonna say palm tree then. Palm tree. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a very successful weekend and I don't really know what's happened. Like I need, I do actually genuinely need to know what we've got on our hands. I don't know what we brought. Debrief, yeah, yeah I don't know what we brought. Out all this stuff. Well I came with like I put like three hundred pounds in my bank I think. Yeah. And we've got hundred and twenty now. 140. Yeah, I don't know what I've been there. But we've all, we need to like split it a bit maybe. Yeah, we'll sort <laughs> it out. <laughs> it really hurts. I know, to be fair. We went to a fitness festival and we've ended up <laughs> fat, yeah. <laughs> Replaced the A. Liam. Liam Burger. Healthy. Healthy again. Yeah, we've decided. After the weekend of testers, tested, I don't even know I what we're like at this weekend. Hail. Mm. Mm. We said when you eat too much sugar, healthy or not, you just feel weird. Like, I feel yeah. like I'm on. I think that's maybe why we felt dead yeah, shaky. Yesterday. Yeah. We literally said we felt like we were on drugs. But yeah, I did. Like, bad. I felt literally like the world was rushing by me. But honestly, Leon is a dream. Is that it, John? 